Hello all, welcome back. In today's lecture, we will see the classifications of passive elements. Already we know there are three elements, namely resistor, inductor and capacitor. The first one is resistor, which is the basic element. We will see the resistor today. See, what is resistor? The resistor is one of the basic circuit element which tends to oppose the flow of current or simply the flow of electrons. So, a resistor will oppose the flow of electrons or current simply. And this is how the schematic representation of resistor simply we can represent like this. And capital R, sometimes we may use small r also. So, R is used to represent the resistor and the resistor is one of such element which dissipates the energy in the form of heat. Whenever we give electrical energy to this resistor that means some current is flowing through this resistor by means of some supply like this. So, the electrical energy is applying to this resistor, across this resistor. So, what this resistor will do is, this resistor will convert the applied electrical energy. The applied electrical energy is converted into heat energy. So, resistor will dissipate the energy in terms of heat. And this will be done instantaneously right and we can use ohms or simply this symbol to denote the value of resistance resistance is nothing but the property of the resistor so, what is ohm? How this resistor is connected to Ohm's law? We will see. Actually, Ohm's law is the origin to get this R. What is Ohm's law? What is the statement of Ohm's law? This is very, very important. Actually, Ohm's law, we can see the statement of the Ohm's law followed by Ohm's law applications and followed by limitations of Ohm's law. The statement at constant temperature and pressure. Remember, uh, we must remember these two terms at constant temperature and pressure, the voltage applied across a circuit is directly proportional to the current flowing through that circuit. So, which means from the definition we can write V is directly proportional to the I, where V is the voltage or the potential difference applied across the circuit and this I is the current which is flowing through that circuit. So, V must be directly proportional to I. However, this relationship must possess two conditions. The first one is constant temperature and constant pressure. So, to remove this proportionality, we will keep the proportionality constant called as R, nothing but our resistance value. So, this is how the resistor will be related to the Ohm's law. So, the formula will become V is equal to I into R, where R is the resistance, which means the proportionality constant, I is the current flowing through that circuit and V is the voltage or potential difference applied across that circuit. So, this is Ohm's law. So, from this Ohm's law, we can calculate the value of resistance R. R is from this equation, we can write R is nothing but V by I. And units already we have discussed the units ohms. 
and this is the symbol to represent the resistance value let us say if it is 20 ohms then we will represent like this or 30 ohms we will represent like this 30 okay ohms right. coming to the applications so uh, ohms law will be used to determine the voltage or resistance or current of any of the electric circuit so with the help of ohms law we can determine voltage or resistance or the current of any of the circuit which means out of these three any of the two parameters has to be known then only we can get the third one and next application is it can be used in the dc ammeter and also other dc shunts to divert the currents shunt is nothing but shunt means parallel okay so uh, these are the few applications of ohm's law there are a lot more applications and coming to the limitations of ohm's law you see the ohm's law is not applicable so not applicable for the unilateral electrical elements this term we heard this term once in the previous video unilateral unilateral means single or one way one way direction of the current one way direction of current so unilateral and bilateral we have one more classification and we have seen this term in the previous video so unilateral means one way of direction or one uh, the current will flow from one side only bilateral means the current will have both the directions so unilateral means it will have either one direction either from left to right or right to left but bilateral means it will have both the directions so this is the difference between unilateral and bilateral so ohm's law cannot be applicable for unilateral unilateral circuits we cannot apply ohm's law for example diodes transistors so all these are the unilateral uh, elements so through these elements the current will flow only in one direction remember and the next limitation is non-linear electrical elements non-linear electrical elements which means non-linearity linearity is simply following ohm's law which means v must be directly proportional to i non-linearity relationship is nothing but v and i does not have any relationship proportionality relationship or something else so for the non-linear circuits we cannot apply ohm's law so these two are the major limitations of ohm's law right now we can know how to calculate a resistance value how to represent the resistance and how to indicate the units of resistance and we know the calculation of resistance in terms of voltage and current voltage is electrical parameter current is electrical parameter so this equation one is the equation to get the resistance value using electrical parameters similar way resistance can also be calculated using physical parameters and that can be calculated by using this formula where r is equal to rho l by a rho l by a where l is the length of the conductor and a is the area of cross section and the rho what is this rho rho is simply the resistivity resistivity constant or simply the proportionality constant 
so rho determines the resistivity so this is how which means using second equation you can also calculate the resistance value with the physical parameters and i already told you resistance or the resistor dissipates the energy in the form of heat we already know the energy uh, rule which means energy cannot be created or cannot be destroyed but it can be converted from one form to another form so in the resistor the energy electrical energy will be converted into heat energy so we will get the heat from the resistor when we apply electrical energy like you you know about heaters and uh, uh, we may we might seen many uh, many applications uh, in almost all every application we can find the resistance okay bulbs tvs any electronic gadgets many of the applications even conductors will also have little amount of resistance we already know about conductors semiconductors and insulators based on the resistance only this classification has been made right for each and every element for i mean for each and every system there must be a possibility of having resistance so there you will get heat loss I mean the energy will be lost in terms of heat right so this is all about the resistor which is one of the uh, basic circuit basic circuit element in the passive classification so resistor will take the energy electrical energy from the source and it will uh, dissipate the energy in the form of heat that's why resistance is a passive element it will absorb the energy and the absorbed energy is converted into heat energy so this is about the resistor and followed by ohms law because ohms law and resistor both are interrelated thank you